Good morning, and welcome to this week's devotion. This week's devotion is Rescue Me. Okay, to begin with, I have to apologize because even typing the title of today's devotion has gotten the 60s song by Fontella Bass stuck in my head, and I have visions of Whoopi Goldberg washing cars in the movie Sister Act. So forgive me for giving you an earworm. But over the past few days, I've heard of so many people who are sick or hurt or undergoing surgery or having to move. They've lost loved ones. They're starting school and uncertain of what's going to happen, or they're going through all kinds of untold stress. You just had to look at the length of our prayer request list last Sunday. There are arguments over wearing masks in school and requiring vaccinations for events. I don't know about you, but I'm just really tired of dealing with the pandemic and all of the stress it causes. It seems to make other problems hard to deal with as well. So the psalm for this week was really needed. When the righteous cry for help. Oh, so the psalm for this week was really needed. This is Psalm 34, 17 through 22. Sorry, I have a big fluffy thing distracting me today. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from all. He keeps all their bones. None of them will be broken. Evil brings death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. I don't know about you. But sometimes I need to be reminded that God is with me, especially in hard times and times of trouble. We are told to cry out to the Lord for help. It doesn't promise that we won't have trouble or hardship. In fact, verse 19 even says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God will be there with us. God will save us. Now, sometimes that may be physical rescue, but more often it is spiritual. God's rescue may come in the form of a friend's shoulder to cry on or a hand to hold. God's rescue may be a sense of peace in the middle of chaos. It may even be running across a reminder that God is there and that God cares by finding the exact scripture you need to hear when you're reading your daily devotions. I have been brokenhearted a lot in the past year and a half. I've been brokenhearted for those who are sick and for those who have died from this pandemic. I've been brokenhearted for their families. I've been brokenhearted for all of the overworked doctors and nurses and first responders. I've been brokenhearted for all of the small business owners who couldn't make it work during lockdown. In addition to all of the COVID-related heartbreak, there are fires in California and the earthquake in Haiti and violence in Afghanistan It's hard not to feel depressed. But I love the vivid way that the psalmist puts it. Crushed in spirit. In the midst of all this heartbreak and despair, the psalmist reminds us, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. We are not in this alone. So take a breath. Say a prayer. Cry out to God if you need to. Call on your friends and neighbors. And remember that God promises to go with us no matter what the trials and troubles we have. God promises to redeem us. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Have a blessed week.